we make money when we operate. So if I turn somebody away, I'm not making money. I'm doing it because I really believe that it's the right thing to do. Hey guys, welcome to this week's sixth rant. This week I want to talk about patients that get turned away from surgery. Every week, pretty much every day, we see at least one or two patients who are not candidates for surgery and they get turned away. And these patients tend to be very upset. Nobody wants to be rejected and that is understandable. But at the same time, you need to understand that we can't operate on everybody who walks into our clinic. The most common reason why we turn people away, elevated BMI, body mass index, which is a measure of height versus weight. So somebody who's overweight has a high BMI right there. Higher BMI is associated with a high risk. So there are certain cutoffs and studies have shown that at certain cutoffs, the risks increase not linearly, but exponentially. So specifically at the BMI of 35, the risks of uh, complications in this study on the breast traction show that they, they were increasing slowly and just really skyrocketed. So we decreased our BMI requirement to below 35 and then most recently we went down to 30. BMI is the most common thing, typically we talk about high BMI, but we also talk about patients sometimes that have a very low BMI. So there's a range of normal BMI that you want to be in. If you go outside of that range, your risk of complications really skyrockets. People that have a very low BMI tend to have electro abnormalities that can lead to cardiac problems. People that have very high BMI can have cholesterol and, and uh, liver problems, can have cardiac problems as well, can have wound healing problems, can have risks of uh, blood clots, of heart attacks during surgery. In the past, I've done procedures on patients with high BMIs, but that was when I was working in a hospital. Now I've constrained my practice to be purely cosmetic in a private practice setting. I no longer work in a hospital, and as such, I'm not able to take patients to the hospital setting should it be needed. For that reason, we've changed our BMI criteria. So those are things that prevent us from doing these procedures in our clinical setting. So we try to screen people out before they come to see us. When people call us to book a uh, consultation, we try to find out about their BMI. We have them fill out a health questionnaire, part of which includes height and weight. If it shows that your BMI is too high for us, we would let you know, we'll refund your scheduling fee and we'll cancel the consultation. We really try to do everything possible to keep you safe. And when we turn you down, I'm sure you can go out there and find somebody else who's willing to operate on you and do the procedure if you want. But just because they say it doesn't mean it's the right answer. When you perform cosmetic surgery, you want to make sure that the benefits outweigh the risks a lot. We don't want to do procedures where the risks are too big. And sometimes I see people that turn away where the risks are small, but so is the benefit. Sometimes people want to come and have surgery to fix something really, really tiny, where to me it's virtually invisible. So when the risk is very, very small, but your benefit is small, the risk-benefit ratio is not that great. We want to do surgeries where the heat benefit is humongous, risk is very small, and then it makes sense to go ahead and take that small risk, because there's always a risk when you do surgery. There's a risk every time you walk out on the street, same thing. It's not a permanent no. If our no means at this time it is not safe, not good to proceed. And realize when we turn you away, we're saving you money, and we're saving you recovery from potentially serious complications. When I turn someone away from surgery, it's either because I don't do that surgery or I don't think I can help them. I don't think there's much benefit I can deliver or I think the surgery is too risky and the risk of complications is too high. It doesn't matter if uh, patients say, well, I'm willing to sign a consent. I don't care about the risk. I want to have the surgery. As a surgeon, there are certain guidelines I have to follow. I will not operate on simply anybody who just walks in and throws money on my table and says, I want you to do the surgery. All right guys, so thanks for watching another sixth rant and we'll see you next week.